Hallelujah, 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 to God in the highest amen. Glory be to God in the highest amen. For His mercies endure forever. Amen. For His mercies endure forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest amen. Glory be to God in the highest amen. For his mercy is in the earth forever. Amen. For his mercy is in the earth forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy to forever. Amen. For his mercy to forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Good evening, pastors. Good evening. We can. I hope we are awake tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, we should. Today we are awake. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we give God the glory. <laughs> Let's begin to worship the Lord and thank Him for waking us up <laughs> for His mercies <laughs> that endure it forever. Hallelujah! Praise Amen. Father, bless you. We praise you. We exalt your holy name this night, Father. We thank you for your sweetness and your mercies that endure it forever. Jesus, we, you the name. we glorify your holy name. Father, we lift you on high. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh,
Let's take the Lord's prayer as we continue to worship our Father with that uh, prayer. Hallelujah. Let's read together Matthew 6, 9 to 13. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done in earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Rick, <laughs> 
have mercy on us if you might make with you or not. Nobody will stand up for that. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Let's take up the anchor and celebrate God's presence in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. Together. The remnants of Israel the shall not do iniquity, no spot lies, neither shall the deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, they shall feed and but they down. shall feed and, and lie down, and none shall face. make them afraid. Sing, Sing O oh daughter of Zion. Zion. Shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. He has cast out the enemy of Israel in the Lord. It is in the midst of the Lord. Thou shalt see evil anymore. In that day, you shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not unto Zion, let thy hands be slack. The Lord thy God, God in the midst, in the midst of, of thee is mighty. mighty. He will save you, he will rejoice over, over thee with, with joy. joy. He will, will receive his love, he will, will joy over thee with singing. 
Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. all right now uh, 
I believe the Lord was uh, trying to tell us something yesterday, which I'm just going to literally just repeat. I want us to go to Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to um, 5. Genesis 1, 1 to 5. Let's read it together. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God was upon the face of the waters. And God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. Amen. Can we have that uh, Pastor Anna's version the other day? What is the name of that version again? I'm sure. The, okay. Yeah, the passion translation. Let's read it. In this translation, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this Bible, this Bible is only so going to sound songs, Proverbs, songs, 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 Isaiah, and Matthew. It, it doesn't, doesn't have, have Genesis, no. Ah, <laughs> Pastor Anna, <laughs> if you hear you, what kind of Bible is that one that doesn't have the beginning? <laughs> that doesn't have revel- it doesn't even have revelation. <laughs> it's got revelation. Um, it has revelation. Oh, yes, yes. but it doesn't have the beginning. Ah, no, it doesn't. Okay. Yes. Let's just move away from there quickly. <laughs> Find another one. <laughs> um, mm, you see, that is serious. Can I try okay. English? Let's try your yeah, English standard version. <laughs> Okay, let's look at that. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. God separated the light from the darkness. God saw the light day and the darkness of the night. There was evening and there was morning the first day. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, we have uh, been waiting on the Lord and inviting the Holy Spirit to take absolute control again. And uh, in, in, in the story of creation, we see the Holy Spirit was there right from the beginning. When the Bible says God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. It was like uh, there was no, it was confused. And there was darkness Covering over the face of the earth, just like now, we see a lot of confusion. We cannot define the earth anymore. It's difficult to define good from evil. With some of the things we see happen, we just cannot believe it. Hallelujah. Whether in the streets, whether in the church, whether it's in the families, strange things are happening. And so when God has created God, created, effectively created the heavens and the earth. And of course, darkness tried to dominate. And the Spirit of God was also present. Just like today, the Spirit of God is hovering over this earth. The Holy Spirit is looking for uh, how to control this earth all over again. The Holy Spirit has not departed. It's hovering over it. All that God did was to speak and say, let there be light. And the Holy Spirit went into action. Hallelujah. And there was light. 
and God, God saw that the light was good and God separated the light from the darkness. darkness. There is no relationship between light and darkness. It's almost <laughs> like now in this work that we are in, we cannot even define what is good from what is bad. Everything is just just unacceptable. Uh, Even in the church, we see the enemy is trying to confuse everything. And so God has told us that he is mighty in our midst. He has told us that we should not fear whatever darkness is, is, is trying to uh, uh, take over the earth. We should do fear. We should just not allow our hands to be slack. Hallelujah. So even Amen. as our father went into action and he said, let there be light, we are also going to prophesy to this earth and command the Holy Spirit to take absolute control of the earth again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. After all, it is written, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. This earth has never belonged to darkness. It has never belonged to the devil. The devil just wants to hijack what God has created. And so it is our responsibility as we are still here on earth, as the, as the Holy Spirit is our senior partners, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to take over and rededicate the earth to Him. Shall we begin to pray in tongues? May seek at the Baba Koko Shukra Baba Makoso Koko Shukro Koko Seek at the Te Apa Father Papa Koko Shukro Koko Seek at the Te Pray Koko Shukro Koko Seek at the Te 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 Koko Seek at we speak to this planet and right now we say let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ in the church let there be light in the church let there be light in the body of Christ, let there be light. In the nations of the Father, Papa, Kupu, Kushi, Kete, Holy Spirit, Ikasi, Kupu, Kushi, Kete, Kupu, Santo, Makoso, Kete, Santo, just as you do the whole of creation, and you separated the light from the darkness, let there be light. Ikate, Kupu, Kushi, Kupu, Kushi, Kete, Kete, Papa, Kupu, Kushi, Santo, we in the spirit of confusion. You are not the author of confusion. Let them be light in the church. Let them be light in the families. Let them be light in the nations of the earth. But we will go to the casket. 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 Let me to prophesy to this earth right now. God told the Zika to prophesy and he prophesied to the dry bones. We prophesy to this earth, we command the Holy Spirit to take over, Holy Ghost take over, in the church take over, in all the continents of the earth take over, in Africa take over, in Europe Holy Ghost take over, in the Americas take over, take over, Take 
we rededicate the elders to you, we rededicate the elders to you, we rededicate the elders to you, we rededicate all the members to you, we rededicate the body of Christ to you, we rededicate Africa to you, we rededicate Europe to you, we rededicate the Americas to you, we rededicate Asia, we rededicate everything to you. Of the earth. After all, it is written, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. When the ghost take control of this earth, my brother, the Koshe, 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 Because <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I want us to look at Isaiah 24. We're going to pick up some information from there. And then we look at Isaiah 32 as we continue to invite the kingdom of God to take over this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to take it from um, the New King James Version. Let's just use the New King James Version. Um, let's read it. Let's just start to read from verse 1. Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste. This thought is surface and scatters abroad its inhabitants and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest as with the servant, so with his master as with the maid, so with her mistress as with the buyer, so with the seller as with the lender, so with the borrower as with the creditor, so with the debtor, the land shall be entirely emptied and utterly plundered. For the Lord has spoken his word. The earth mourns and fades away. The world languishes and fades away. The haughty people of the earth languish. The earth is also defiled under its inhabitants because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, the curse has devoured the earth, and those who dwell in it are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, and a few men are left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we, we now see the state, of, the state of the earth like we just saw it even at creation. We want God the Father to have mercy. He had control even then, and he still has control now by his spirit. And that's why he is leading us to pray the Lord's Prayer, to beg oh. God to have mercy, hallelujah, to ask that his kingdom would reign on earth again. His righteousness, his peace, his joy will be on this earth again. And the Lord, he keeps promising us that we shouldn't be worried that he is in control. Let us take advantage of the fact that he says to us that he is in charge still, and we should beg him that he should take absolute control of this earth. This earth was not created by the devil, and it doesn't belong to Satan. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And so God should have mercy and forgive the iniquity of the, of, of the inhabitants of the earth and take over again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. I want us to read further. I want us to read further um, from verse uh, 14. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. 
Therefore glorify the Lord in the dawning light, the name of the Lord God of Israel, in the coastlands of the sea, from the ends of the earth, we have heard songs, glory to the righteous. But I said, I'm ruined, woe to me, the treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously, indeed the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously, fear and the pit and the snare are upon you, O inhabitant of the earth. So you can see the confusion here. You can see some of us are singing glory to the Lord. Others are crying that they are ruined, that the earth is ruined. Uh, so you, I, I want you to just uh, take cognizance of the confusion and take your eyes away from the confusion and put our eyes on the Lord God who is able to set this earth free. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's keep reading verse 18, and it shall be that he who flees from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. Now, you see why the Lord says we should not fear. He says we should not fear. And he who comes up from the midst of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth are shaken. The earth is violently broken. The earth is split open. The earth is shaken exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall totter like a heart. Its transgression shall be heavy upon it and it will fall and not rise again. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will punish on high the host of exalted ones and on the earth the kings of the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners and gathered in the pit and will be shut up in the prison. After many days they will be punished. Then the moon will be disgraced and the sun ashamed for the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his elders gloriously. Hallelujah. Let's look at Isaiah 32. Isaiah 32. Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let's read. It's also a mixture of things like this, but let's read and pick what we need to pick up. Behold, the king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule with justice. A man will be a hiding place of the wind and a cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. The eyes of those who see will not be dim, and the ears of those who hear will listen. Also, the heart of the rush will understand knowledge, and the tongue of stammerers will be ready to speak plainly. The foolish person will no longer be called generous, nor the error against the Lord. To, to, no. Where are we now? For the foolish person will speak foolishness and his heart will walk iniquity to practice ungodliness to keep the hungry unsatisfied. And he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail also, the schemes of the schema are evil. He devises wicked plans to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaks justice. But a generous man devises generous things, and by generosity he shall stand. Um, verse 9. Rise up, you I women who are at ease. Hear my voice, hear you my complacent voice. daughters. Give ear to my hear speech. To my In a year and some days you will be troubled, days, you complacent days, women, for the vintage you fail. The garden will not come tremble, you women who are at ease. Be troubled, you complacent ones. Strip yourselves, make yourselves clear, and that sackcloth on your waist. People shall mourn upon the breast for the pleasant fields. For the fruit vine on the land of my people will come up thorns and briars, yes, on all the happy homes in a joyous city, because the palaces will be forsaken, the bustling city will be deserted, the forts and towers will become liars forever, a joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks, until the spirit is poured upon us from on high. That's where we are going. And the wilderness becomes a fruitful field. 
and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. So if you read that Isaiah 24 and this one, you will see that we are told all these things that are happening will be happening. The earth will be reeling to and fro like a drunkard, confused. So many things will be getting destroyed. And then we are told that uh, the women should rise up and pray. They should not, they should mourn, they should cry. We should pray until the spirit is poured upon us from on high. Hallelujah. And the mm -hmm. wilderness becomes a fruitful field. All the things that have been destroyed, they can be reversed if the spirit will be poured from on high. Verse 16. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. The work of righteousness shall be peace. Hallelujah. And the yeah. effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, secure dwellings, and a quiet resting places. Amen. 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 No hail comes down on the forest, and the city is brought low in humiliation. Blessed are you who sow beside all waters, who send out freely the feet of the ox and the donkey. That is who are prayerful all the time. Now, we are going to pray until the spirit be released on this earth. That is Amen. what these two scriptures are telling us, that only the Holy Spirit can be released and can sort things out and bring the kingdom of God that we have been praying for, the righteousness, the peace, the joy. Amen. Bringing Amen. justice. The Holy Spirit can take over if we would just ask the Holy Spirit to take over in prayer, in constant prayer. Hallelujah. They are told Amen. to pray until the Spirit be poured down from on high. That kingdom come, Father, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is clear that it is only the Spirit of God that can correct the present situation. Are we Take <laughs> When it was Jesus. <laughs> 
I want you to pray. It is not by, it is not by chance that God spoke to Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37 and he said, look at this hopeless situation. Look at this confusion. Can these bones live? Can this condition be corrected? And God wanted Ezekiel to participate in the recreation. That's why he is telling us, don't let your hands be slack. He is calling us to pray down the Holy Ghost. I want you to prophesy to this end. Prophesy life. To prophesy life to your church. Prophesy deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I, I don't think we realize uh, the responsibility that God has given us as his people. When he's beginning to say, I'm mighty, your mister, I'm present, he's pushing us to do something. Is saying that you can do something. Hallelujah. He pushed Amen. Ezekiel. That's Amen. why he took Ezekiel to the valley of Alcor. And he said, Ezekiel, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, Why do you know the story, your pastors? And then at the end of the day, he was told to prophesy. He was told to do something. And then he prophesied. He was so told to prophesy to the winds. Hallelujah. That, that's mm -hmm. the spirit of God in action. You know, uh, the sister that came to help me um, uh, this evening was around me. She came around four and she was giving me a testimony that happened in Rundu when we were on crusade there in a uh, 2017, because uh, we, we were walking, and I'm sure Paul Evangelist said knows the, the terrain there. Uh, sometimes we just literally step into mud and all sorts of uh, dirt. And so I needed to wash my feet, and then they gave me water. And then she said, after I washed my feet, I poured the water on the purple that was there. And I said, you people, you will eat this purple until you are tired. And she said the whole village is eating from that purple. That was 2017. Oh. And she said the fruit are so big. I don't even remember. But I remember the episode of washing my feet. But I don't remember what I said. 
and I said, I better go in my garden and also prophesy. <laughs> we need to speak. Hallelujah. This Hallelujah. earth cannot continue to be reeling to and fro like a drunkard, and we are here. God will never do anything. That's why the Lord teaches us the Lord's prayer. And he says, pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as this in heaven. Unless we do something, God cannot do anything. Hallelujah. And if we look at the, the, the example of, of Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37, God got him involved. God wants his church to wake up and be involved before we are swallowed up by the present a, a, a confusion on earth. We must wake up and begin to prophesy. That's why that Isaiah 32 says, woe unto the people that are at ease, the women that are, ease, that are complacent, they must get up, lament, and pray until the spirit be poured down. Let us open our mouths and begin to prophesy to every situation, even as apart from this platform. If you see anything on, 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 on TV, don't just give up and be look. You must speak to it. You must speak. You must speak life to the situation. We are hearing now that that uh, uh, in India, the the, the 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 rate of infection is three hundred fourteen thousand a day. They run out of oxygen. They are running out of everything. They are turning back ambulances. Where, that one ambulance man said, "Where will I go with this patient?" He refused to go. And the patient was lying. We need to pray. We need to prophesy against the spirit of death and hell and prophesy to this earth to receive the presence of God again. If it means that the Lord is coming to fetch us, let him do something. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we pray? Let's speak. Let's command the Holy Spirit to take over. We cannot continue like this, Abba Father. Thy kingdom must come. Thy will must be done in this planet. God has given us the responsibility to pray that kingdom come that will be done in this earth. We have read in those two scriptures that the earth is reading to and fro because of the sins, because of the iniquity. That's why the Lord says, pray. Forgive us our sins, Father. Forgive us and deliver us from this present evil. Let the Holy Spirit take over. Let us be aware of God's presence, God's ability that is placed in us. The authority has given us to speak to these situations makaseke de de grupo kosheka de de kasento pra kosho grupo kosheke de de makoso po kosheka de de makoseka de de the lord is waiting for you is waiting for me is waiting for his church so speak makate de grupo kosheka de de grupo kosheke de de kadena ba makasete de the lord himself will not look back he look back on the earth and he said let there be light and he has passed the authority to us. Let there be light in this present darkness. Father. In Jesus name of prayer. Amen. The Lord just put something in my heart that we should pray that we should realize that we are the agents of God on earth. We should realize, we should be aware of his anointing upon our lives, his, his ability that he has placed in us, his almightiness inside us, so that we can speak creative words to this earth. It's just that we don't know who we are. 
Hallelujah. We should Amen. pray that God will open our understanding to see the responsibility he has placed on the church. We should pray for the church. And that, that the, the Holy Spirit is, is not even going to come down. It's already inside us. Hallelujah. We Amen. just need to release him. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Amen. says those who believe in him out of their bellies shall flow rivers of Amen. life. But Amen. if our rivers are stagnant, if we the rivers are there and they are stagnant and we are not allowing the rivers to flow out. Oh, my father, upon our understanding, open our eyes, open our heart, open us our understanding, father, help us to know who you we are, the responsibility you have placed on the church, help us on this prayer, the Holy Spirit is already here. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is being up in the in the belly of the believer. Only Kusika de de Kupo Kusu Kupo Sheke de de Kaseke de de Fata Kaseke de Papa Makurupo Kusu Kupo Papa Makuseke de 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 Prepo Kusu Kupa Kati de Kupo Kusento Makuseke de 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 because of the father has intended it, Precusu Cropoco sent to consent, Macuso Poco Shaker de Baba, Macuso Poco Shaker de Day. We command the Holy Spirit to be stopped. Let the gifts of God be stopped. Let them be stopped up in the believers. Macate de Cropoco Shaker de Day, Cropoco Shaker de Day, Catecos of God, take a sent to Macuso Poco Take a sent to the day, Macuso Cropoco. Let prayers be stopped. Up. Let holiness be stopped. Let awareness be stopped up in the church. We have been commissioned to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to set the captives free. Today, oh, where is that anointing? We have been commissioned to set this this earth free. We have been commissioned to take away the morning from the earth to bring beauty for ashes. Father, may we not be unprofitable servants to you anymore. May the church not be unprofitable to you. May the church wake up. May the church to not be overrun by the spirit of death and hell. Makusuko de de kiseke de de karapa bakropo kusheka de de prakusuko kuseka de de kaseke apa fada papa kude de prakusuko papa makuseke de de the same spirit that was in our father when he looked down at creation and he said, "Let there be light." It's the same Holy Spirit that is inside us. These signs are follow them that believe in my name, Jesus. Says, we shall cast out devils. My father, don't let the devil cast us out of the earth. Let the Precocious <laughs> 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 
Pray, coronavirus is killing pastors, is killing Christians, is 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 devastating the church because the church has a loss. Is sense of his power, a sense of his responsibility. The church is sleeping. For the rest of the is in your hands, is in my hands. Jesus said, I give you power to tread over serpents and scorpions and over the powers of the enemy. Father, we got the job. We kill it by force. We kill it. We kill it by force. 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 Make Deliverances, we speak life to the end. We speak health. We speak health and healing. We speak health and salvation. We speak deliverance to the end. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to begin to prophesy. Don't speak in tongues. I know that that one will come. When it comes, you reverse it back to praying with your understanding. I want you to prophesy that to this earth, I say, let there be light. Let there be life. Let there be healing. And you know, prophesy to the earth. Prophesy to the church. Prophesy to the nations. Open your mouth. Don't pray in tongues. There is a difference between praying and prophesying. When you prophesy, you speak. You speak like our father spoke and said, let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophesy to this earth. Speak to this earth. Speak to this earth. This drunken earth. We prophesy life to this earth. We prophesy the presence of God. We prophesy healing and health. Let's open our mouth and begin to speak to the earth, to every Corner of the earth, I prophesy light, I prophesy deliverance, I prophesy healing, I prophesy health. Let there be life in the hospitals, let there be life, oh God, in the nations, let there be life. I prophesy solution to this, I prophesy the eradication of coronavirus, I prophesy the eradication of the disease, I prophesy. Righteousness, I prophesy peace, I prophesy joy to the end, I prophesy salvation, I prophesy long life, I prophesy health and healing, I prophesy I prophesy salvation, I prophesy righteousness, I prophesy holiness, I speak to this end, I speak to the north, I speak to the north of this end, I speak to the west. Jesus. I 
receive Jesus Christ. Receive the light of God. Receive the mercy of God. Receive the mercy of God. Receive the mercy of God. I prophesy repentance. I prophesy repentance. I prophesy repentance. I speak against this blessing. I prophesy the blessings of God. In the Jesus, let the earth be blessed. Let the nations be blessed. Let the families be blessed with the presence of God. Let Africa be blessed with God. And there be a change. I prophesy the change. Say your change has come. Africa, your change has come. You, your change has come. The Americas, your change has come. I say let there be life. I say let there be life. I speak to this planet. I speak to the earth, I speak to the earth, I speak to the earth, I speak to life, I speak to the mercy of God, I speak repentance, I speak salvation, I speak deliverance, I speak, I speak, I prophesy, I prophesy signs and wonders, I prophesy solution, I prophesy absolute deliverance in the hospitals, I prophesy healings, I prophesy I held, I prophesy the wisdom of God against coronavirus. I prophesy that the weather will not be confused anymore. I prophesy that there will be rain in the time of rain. There will be heat in the time of heat. There will be cold in the time of cold. I prophesy order, the order of God, the order of creation. I prophesy the blood of Jesus is washing this earth. Okay. I prophesy the deliverances. I prophesy the mercy of the Lord. I prophesy the healing of the Lord Almighty upon this earth. I prophesy that this earth will no longer be really to and fro like a drunkard. I prophesy the presence of God. I prophesy the presence of angels. I speak to the heavens over this earth to be open that the angels be released, that the presence of God. Released, that the Holy Spirit will move freely, freely from house to house, from family to family, from church to church, from nation to nation. I command the angels to move. I command the heavens to open. I prophesy open heavens of the presence of angels, open heavens of the mercies of God, open heavens of healing, open heavens of, of, of the mercy of God. To have us to breathe freely, I prophesy the abundance of oxygen. I prophesy the breath of God of Jesus. I prophesy the breath of God. They are saying they are putting oxygen in cylinder, and they are saying oxygen is not available. I prophesy that the lungs of the man can be receive the free oxygen of the Almighty. I prophesy death to coronavirus. I prophesy death. To the spirit of death, hell that has taken over the earth, I am that I prophesy your mercy. I prophesy the blood of Jesus is flowing, is flowing in the, is flowing in the west, is flowing in the north, in the south, is flowing among the Muslims. The blood is flowing among the Christians. The blood is flowing in every corner of the earth. I prophesy the presence of God. I prophesy righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I I prophesy your wealth. I prophesy plenty of food, plenty of rain, rain in every corner of the earth. In the times of rain, let there be rain. In the times of heat, let there be heat. I prophesy that the season is the time, the season for, for, for sowing, the time of sowing, let there be sowing. The time of reaping, let there be harvest. I prophesy that this earth is not broke. This earth is blessed. In I prophesy the life of God. I prophesy the light of God. I prophesy that men are dreaming and they are seeing Jesus. I prophesy the visions. I prophesy dreams. I prophesy signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy deliverances. I prophesy 
professor I helped. I professor I heal it. I professor the presence of angels in the dreams of mankind in the hospitals. I professor I heal in angels. Satan, Jesus says, Behold, I see Satan fall like lightning. I profess his downfall in these nations, in the nations of the earth. I profess the eradication of darkness. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light in the source of mankind, oh God. Let there be deliverance. I dare to say by this time tomorrow there will be a change. There must be a change. There should be a change. There should be deliverance. There should be healing. There should be good news. I profess. The wisdom of God, knowledge of God, the mercy of God, the, the fear of God upon this earth. I profess that men shall fear God, that men shall know. Him that men shall run to him. Cut the Kodipo Kodikiseke the Dekade Bakulu Bokusheka the Bakulu Maseka the Te Prekusho Krupo Kusheto Maseke the Te Prekusho Krupo Kusheke the Te. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Father, you say you are His minister. I prophesy the end of all opposition to your presence. I prophesy the end of all opposition to your presence. The health of the earth, I profess the end of all opposition of to, to, to the to the well-being of the earth. I profess the deliverance of men, the deliverance of women, the deliverance of children. I profess the presence of God is in the schools, in the universities, among the students, among the young ones. I profess the revival. In the church, I prophesy revival to be born in the church, to be born in the people, but in the pulpit, in the pews, and the church. I prophesy because they take to prophesy that the blind shall see, the deaf shall hear, the lame shall run, even the blind, spiritually blind. I prophesy sight to the spiritually blind, to the Spiritually deaf, I profess I hearing, I profess I see the change has come. I profess the change, the change to the glory of God. I profess the change. I say our change has come, the change of the earth has come, the deliverance of the earth has come, the mercy of God is on the earth. I speak deliverance. I profess I joy on the end. I profess I joy. I profess I life. I profess I life. I profess I the power of the Holy Ghost, the presence of the Holy Ghost, conviction of sinners, deliverance of sinners, deliverance of the sins of the Bible, the church, and the prophecy, that the Holy Spirit has his way. Holy Spirit, you are moving freely. You move freely in the earth. You move freely in the church. You move freely among the children, among the adults in the schools. 
I prophesy the mighty move of the Holy Ghost in the schools, in the dormitories, in the hospitals, in the nations, in the families. I prophesy miraculous healing, miraculous deliverances, miraculous provisions. I prophesy, I prophesy miraculous intervention of God Almighty. I prophesy visions, dreams, revelations. I speak to this end to have your eyes open to see the angels, to see the presence of God. I prophesy the, the, the angelic visions, angelic appearances. I prophesy to this earth. This earth, you must be healed. Receive your healing, you this earth. Receive your healing, O earth. O earth, O earth, hear the word of God. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing, O earth. Receive your deliverance, O earth. Receive the mercy of God, O earth. Receive angelic visitation for salvation, for deliverance, for, for, for the blessings of the earth. I prophesy was of blessing. I speak to the understanding of the pastors. I speak to the understanding of the children of God. I speak to the understanding of the church. I prophesy, I say, receive your eyes, receive your sight, receive vision, receive dreams, receive revelation, receive understanding, receive knowledge and wisdom. Prophesy the progress of this earth, healing and progress, healing and deliverance. I prophesy the eradication, the confusion, the eradication of fear, the eradication of hopelessness. Speak to this earth, receive hope, receive deliverance, receive comfort, receive the comfort of the Lord, receive the power of the Holy Ghost, receive a reversal of every evil that the enemy has brought upon the end. Receive light from above, receive the visitation of the Holy Ghost, receive the visitation of God. I profess the eradication of coronavirus, the eradication of terrible diseases, the eradication of HIV. I profess the eradication of poverty, Thank 
you will see how you will see the amazing power of prophecy hallelujah the prophet said there will be no wind he said there will be no rain but there will be water in the wilderness hallelujah Amen. hallelujah he said there will be no wind there will be no rain Mark, look at Ezekiel 37 you will see the power of prophecy when you look at what Elijah also did, you see, he said, by my word. That's all he said. He prophesied because the sins of the people were too many. Hallelujah. And then he just said, for three and a half years, there will be no rain. There will be no water. There will be drought. He said it. Hallelujah. Somebody said he locked the heaven and put the key in his pocket. He said, by my word. Hallelujah. This generation yeah. needs to realize Eliza, that there is a word on the inside of us waiting to be spoken. There is a word that is inside us that is waiting to be released. Now, a few of us know how to use it here, and, but we need to use this more often because this is what is now needed. We have prayed, we have fasted. It is time to prophesy. It is time to release the power of God. It is time to open up the the, the fountain of life that has been bottled up in the in the bottom. In the in the in the in the in the, in the uh, uh, belly of the Christian and release that fountain of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to prophesy. Don't be tired. You, you you can speak it. I'm sure once in a while we speak and it happens. Make it a habit. Make it a habit. pray for this ability I prophesy to the spirit of the children of God that they will begin to speak forth the word of God. They begin to speak as God speaks. They begin to speak like God's Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. Let's look at first Peter chapter four. Verse 11. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Verse Peter chapter four. Let's read it. Let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone misters. Ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I want us to realize that when, 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 when people from the other side speak, when witches, wizards speak, they speak like oracles, they, they speak like, like a God. Amen. Amen. They speak Amen. with serious authority and people begin to shiver. Hey, hey, hey. That person has cursed. They are able to curse with authority. We are able to bless with authority as well. Hallelujah. The Bible Amen. says that let him that speak. If you are going to speak, if you want to stand as a minister, you want to represent God, speak like an oracle. Speak like a God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the Amen. Bible says ye are gods. That means you speak as one standing in the place of God Almighty, representing him. That's why we are called Christians. Hallelujah. We are going to Amen. pray for that ability. That believers will be bold. The, the, the Lord says he will give us a wisdom and a mouth mm -hmm. that is higher than the wisdom and the mouth of the enemy. That's what he promises us. And we have that wisdom. We have that mouth. Abba, Father, may we begin to use it in the oh, name of Jesus. Lord, I want Lord, us to pray Lord, in tongues Lord, that we begin Lord, to speak with authority. Lord, you look Lord, at the situation, Lord, you make a declaration. You speak in business, knowing that God will back you up. Lord, we will say that they, they can say to you, we pray for ourselves, we pray for the body of Christ. Because that is what is lacking. That is what is missing. We get people stand up and they speak. They speak curses on the earth. And we don't stand up to reverse it. They speak that coronavirus will never go. The variants will be there. The next one will be worse. We need to reverse their speaking. We need to speak as God's oracle. Mark said, they pretend that they are speaking science, but they are actually cursing the earth. We have to stand up and bless the earth because we are an agent 
spirit of blessing. The Lord says we have been called to bless. I speak blessings upon this planet. I speak healing. I speak deliverances. I speak the end of coronavirus. By the blood of the Lamb. I say enough now. I say enough now to coronavirus. I say enough now to death and hell. I speak deliverance. I release the blood of Jesus in every part of the earth. I speak with authority. Let's open our mouth. That's why the, the, the prophet said by my word, the prophet said by this time tomorrow. Because he's speaking like God's mouthpiece. He's speaking like an oracle. He's speaking like somebody that knows that God will back up what he's speaking. My Father, open our understanding to know that you have given us the key. Makoropo kosikete te koropo kosoko kosikete te reko sopo kosheka de baba makosopo kosete reko sheka de baba. That he wants to speak like your mouthpiece. Makoropo kosikete te we pray for ourselves, we pray for every pastor of the Lord Jesus who begin to speak like God's oracle wherever they may be found, whether in the village, whether in the cities, whether in America, whether in Europe or Africa, Asia, wherever the servants of God are out. Ah, begin to speak like his mouthpiece to this present world. Thank you. 
my father more and more and more. I want to speak like he is speaking. I want to speak with authority. I want to speak with I want to speak with the fear. I want to speak with confidence. And I pray the same for all the pastors. In my confidence, I saw the pastors of earth. I want to be your mouthpiece. Oh, my mouthpiece. Yes, we are. My guru, 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 my it was you must be Yourself, 
Lord, my Father, I pray for my soul. I want you to enhance this group to my life. My Kaseki, the group of Bushiki, the group of Bushiki, let me be your mouthpiece to this generation. I want you to pray for yourself. At this time, this is not a time to sleep. Open your mouth and say, Oh Lord, let me be your mouthpiece to this generation. In my family, in my place of work, wherever I am, Paco de Guru Pokosiki, the Jacobite group of Bushiki, I want you to pray for that grace. And when I speak, it must happen. I want to be your oracle, Father. Therefore, it is a gift. I'm going to give it to you. I'm operating in you. If it's not operating, I want to be your oracle. I want the people to watch for what I say. Because when I speak, I want to be your oracle. in Jesus name we pray amen amen this is the last prayer point and I want you to start with yourself you know if we're going to take the church forward if we're going to be effective, we must have confidence in what we say. We must have confidence that God will back us up. We must have faith. We prophesy only by faith. You cannot be afraid to be wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see, when you are wrong as a prophet, it's, a, it's a, a, when you prophesy, let me not say as a prophet, whenever you prophesy and it looks like you are wrong, it's, it's a humbling process. You will go back to God and then find out why. Maybe you are not actually wrong. Maybe you don't. It's, it's a whole mystery. Amen. Because look, uh, um, when, when, when Samuel was going to ordain David, he, he got it totally wrong. Hallelujah. Is that not so? But that doesn't, make him, that doesn't make him less of a prophet. The Bible says that not even a word that that it was a prophet with integrity. But that day he missed he missed it. Hallelujah is still a prophet. Mm. It doesn't mean that you, you when you miss it once in a while, then you should be afraid to prophesy. Come against that fear because prophecy is important now. That's why we have all these false prophets in the place because. People, the real children of God are afraid to open their mouth and prophesy because in case I'm wrong, so what? When you are wrong, you will get it right the next time. Hallelujah. Let us pray in tongues that God, I just want to be your mouthpiece. I want that boldness to be able to speak what to put in my heart to speak. Holy Spirit, help me.
Every in Jesus name we pray now I want you to prophesy to your personal lives you see when you want to practice the, uh, the gifts of the spirit say healing you start to lay hands on yourself Hallelujah. When you want to practice prophecy, you prophesy to yourself. When you see that the things you say to yourself and you expect them to happen are happening. You know, sometimes you just speak out of expectation. Not even because uh, God is saying to speak. You speak out of, you. this is what I expect. And you speak it to pass. When you practice that, by the time you're on the pulpit, you'll be able to help the people. I want you to prophesy to yourselves. From this morning, begin to prophesy your own change. Begin to prophesy to that sickness, prophesy to that poverty, prophesy to that child, prophesy to your own family, prophesy your own change. Let's practice that. Hallelujah, Father, I give you praise. I give you all the glory. I prophesy to every situation in my life that needs a change. I say, Father, I give you praise because uh, this is this. Yeah, we are just in, in, in April. By, by the end of this year, my Father, my God, every situation in this family that needs your prophet, that needs your a change, I prophesy to it. I prophesy the change. I thank you because I'm seeing those changes already. I say I prophesy to every situation. I prophesy to everything, to everyone in this my life, in my life, in my church, in my family. Let them prophesy the change. I expect the change. My good days, I prophesy and tell them to prophesy in the name of Jesus. Le <laughs> Amen. Let us prophesy against all the witches and wizards 
Jesus, wherever they are meeting now, prophesy their downfall. Let's do that for the next five minutes before we close. Wherever they are meeting, whatever they are doing, I prophesy the divine judgment. They must receive it in the name of Jesus wherever they meet, whether in the air, whether in the sea, whether they are all under the earth. I prophesy the destruction of all their meeting places, the destruction of their altars in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy the wrath of God upon all the witches and wizards. That have been assigned against Christ of ministries, against our homes, against our families. I profess the wrath of God upon them whenever they are meeting down. I command the angels to prophesy goodness and mercy. They are persecuted by by angelic presses. I do speak to the progress of Christ of ministry. I speak. The deliverance of Christ's love. I speak healing to Christ's love. I, I speak prosperity. I speak, oh Lord, the blessings of God upon Christ's love. Ministries international in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. All the powers of darkness that are haters, that are cursing us, I prophesy their destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Prakushukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Can we just spend five minutes to praise God? Hallelujah. All of us just Amen. to praise God. Hallelujah. I'm thinking in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our Father. And the man. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. All you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to, to be praised. We give you, we give you all the glory. We worship you. You are worthy to Pastor Alice, can you just lead us in a prayer of thanksgiving? Just Amen. to thank God for this morning. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we are very thankful, very thankful, Lord, because of your faithfulness. Mm. We are very thankful because you are in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise and all the honor. Let all my glory be given unto you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are thanking you for equipping us with authority. In the mighty name of Jesus, to declare things into existence. Yes, to speak to the four corners of the world and the mm. world hears yes. our voice. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for strengthening us to call unto yes, your name and to prophesy into this earth, to prophesy into the body of Christ, to prophesy into our lives. Yes, we are Lord. thankful because you have heard us. Mm. And we know, Lord God Almighty, that there shall be a turnaround. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and we declare and prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have never failed us nor forsaken us. In the name of Jesus, the word says, your answers are yes and amen. Mm, we mm, thank you, Lord. We are mm, thankful. We come with a grateful heart because yes, we know the Father that we save, that is the true God mm, in the mighty name of Jesus who said, yeah. Behold, I am the Lord God of all mm, flesh. Is there mm, anything mm, too mm, hard for me? Uh-huh. Father, we thank you as we decree thank and declare Father, that Corona will be a thing of the past mm, in the mm-hmm. name of Jesus Christ. Jesus we thank Christ, you, Lord, Lord, that situations are turning around. Mm-hmm in our lives, in our families, yes, in the yes, church Lord, and in yes, the world. Lord, yes, Lord, we yes, thank Lord. you, Lord, because you have heard us. Abba, Father, we give all the praise and all the glory. We thank you, Lord. We are forever grateful because we have seen you and Lord in the land of the living and we yes. bless you, Abba, Father. Majita, Jesu, Majita, Shumba, Yerutir, Wajuta. We thank you, King of Zion, Lord of Lord, Lion of the tribe of Judah. We give you all the praise. Praise and all the yes. honor. Our hearts yes. are full of joy because yes. we know that there is something that you have done today in this mm. prayer is prophesied yes. into the atmosphere. Yes. Let the earth hear our voices in the Amen. name of Jesus. Father, we bless you and we return all the honor. 
and all the glory to you this morning. We bless you, Abba Father. We love you. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Surely, goodness is to follow us. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the hearts of the Lord. Lord. Of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Now, the grace now, of our Lord Jesus, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with be us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Hallelujah. I think tomorrow will be the last day. It's supposed to be today. But yesterday, we give God the glory for yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Those of you who did not even show up yesterday, you didn't know what happened. So we are not going to tell you. <laughs> A lot happened here yesterday. Until I sack everybody by quarter past 12, including myself. I was like, okay, guys, let's go sleep because it is not working. <laughs> So, so let's get ready to uh, prophesy today again, the today already. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Let's Amen. just think of all those things we are going to say and let's, let's really uh, come up with concrete words of prophecy and whatever the Lord wants us to still do as we complete this uh, cycle of waiting on the Lord so that the Holy Spirit can take over. I think the most important thing is for the church to realize that the key has been given to her. The key key Mm. is in our hands. And if we don't use it, there's nothing God can do. Hallelujah. So let's meditate on that and let's come ready to set ourselves, to set our family, our nation, and the planet free through the voice of authority that God has given to us. Amen. 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 God bless you. Sleep well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.